Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Leos. And this is going to be from the 12th through the 18th of March. I will be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. This is the very first deck I ever owned. And learning tarot cards to clarify. So, Leo, let's see what messages we have for you today. So Leo, this is for you. The five of, sto five of swords. You feel a little stuck right now? The eight of pentacles. You're thinking about money or are you trying to manifest money? The three of pentacles. The universe is working on something for you. Something is building. The fool, a new beginning. The hermit, you need to go within. You might need some healing. Or maybe you just need to meditate to find your answers. The princess of wands, young Leo, impulsive, full of life, full of oh, fun. The king of pentacles, this is an earth energy. This is a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. The Four of Swords. Might be talking to some people in regards to something. Maybe money. Um, the King of Pentacles could also um, be talking um, talking about you, what you, how you feel, as in. Um, business-wise because the kings are the action so maybe there is a plan you have where business is concerned and you are starting to move in it and you're talking to some people in regards to it however i do see the three of swords so the three of swords means that there is a broken heart somewhere or some kind of betrayal or loss now if this is a relationship it could have meant it could mean that someone else um is or was involved but it's some some type of broken heart some kind of three-way something so let's see the five of swords i nearly clarified with the rest of the deck On top of the Five of Swords, what has you stuck is an air energy. This is a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. I see that uh, I got the three of um, the three of Wands. Um, I see you're thinking about travel, wanting to move abroad to a foreign land. You need to believe in yourself, okay? You will have success. And you will be happy with the choices you make and the outcomes. The Queen of Swords and the Three of Wands. I hope I said the Queen of Swords there because I did say Gemini. I remember saying Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right. 
You're wishing for this. You're really longing for this. You got deep passion for this. You want to make a journey. I got the Knight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands, which tells me that something is coming very, very fast. It's going to be like really fast something coming towards you. You're thinking about this. These thoughts are in your head. They're coming. You're thinking. You're thinking about a journey and it's coming. The universe is building something for you. On top of that comes the nine of pentacles. Independent. Or yeah, independent and wealth. So you're going to have some kind of success where money's concerned somewhere. And it's going to have to do with a lover. Possibly a Gemini. So there's going to be some, maybe you're going after someone who has a little bit of money. And who will bring you a new beginning. It's just the feeling I got. But be patient. Be patient. You're going to have a decision to make. The Two of Swords. You're going to have to call a truce first. You're sitting on the fence. You don't know which side to go. You don't know what to do. You're going to have to go within yourself. You're going to have to do some meditation and ask these questions. And you will get the answer. Excuse me. You want to make a break for it. <clears throat> you keep looking over your shoulder. The card says deceit, lies, trickery, cheating, theft, underhanded, dishonest, dangerous, risky behavior, enemy masquerading as your friend, spying, lack of conscious, strategy, resourceful, flexible, escape, interconnection. So... I always, whenever I see this, I think of betrayal. Maybe you're thinking um, someone is going to betray you. Maybe you're looking over your shoulder, maybe because you betrayed someone, you know. But you got to do some soul searching. Because if you don't come to terms with that, you're going to be at a standstill. And you're not going to be able to move. Okay? You hear me, Leo? And the Princess of Wands. The Princess of Wands. Young Leo. You're young inside, don't you? Nothing wrong with that. Shoot, I feel like I'm 18 inside. <laughs> I just wish I was 18 with the knowledge I have today. <laughs> ah, but everything happens for a reason. We learn things. All the bumps in the road, we learn things. Everything is a lesson. On top of um, the Princess of Wands is the Emperor. And the Ace of Wands. The Emperor says, and I think this is your personality here, I am my own authority. I have the will and the power to create my life structure. Leo, you certainly do. You just have to believe in yourself and keep the dream alive. Keep your eye on the prize. And you shall have a new beginning, the Ace of Wands. That could also mean fertility. Maybe someone is with child. Maybe that's why you got to get money. The King of Pentacles. The Seven of, seven of Wands. You're above your challenges. But darling, you're about to have a tower moment. Something is about to shake up your environment a little bit. It's going to feel like it just tumbled down. Okay, so for one sec, for a little while, you're going to be above your challenges. Then you're going to have a towel moment. Now listen to this. Not every towel moment is horrible, okay? Sometimes things have to break down in order to build back. Stronger. Or maybe this is your rock bottom. Maybe this is the lowest you've ever been or will ever be. And then you're going to build yourself back. And you're going to be stronger. And you're going to be better. You're talking to someone. Who are you talking to? Let's see. Well, 
regardless of the tall moment here, I got the the six of um the six of wands on top of um the four of swords, which says victory, success, whatever it is, no matter what happens in your life, you will be successful. You have to believe it, and you shall see it happen. And you're a little off balance, you know, you're balancing things, you're juggling, you know. Might be a little off balance where um, finances are concerned, or you're juggling money. You might be stealing from Peter to pay Paul, so to speak. But you're handling it. You're handling it. Then the Three of Swords. Three of Swords. It's got a broken heart in here somewhere. The King of Wands. The King of Wands. Leo, you have a broken heart. You have a broken heart that's from the past. You need to heal, Leo. You have a broken heart from the past. I got the King of Wands, which could be the masculine or feminine. And I have the Six of Cups, which tells me that this is something from the past. It could be an old love from the past. Something, you know, so it was like a lot of memories and innocence and youthfulness and love and joy you know so you have a broken heart from the past leo i love you please heal okay let go and release it with love go face it go back there and face it and you will see amazing things happen for you forgive yourself and forgive others I love you.